Yeah, we're just talking about that. I mean, there's so much history here. It's. Uh, well, we're going to try to celebrate it as much as we can. That's number great. one question. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The great thing is he's not a dead guy. <laughs> We thought he was. Yeah. <laughs> I was so happy he's not. That's what I said when I talked about him. I go, who is this guy? Well, he's still alive. Yeah. Right. yeah. He's not an old dead guy. Sure. Let me also introduce you to Russ Scullin and Jan Duffy. Oh, they nice they, they also are 119, former 119th. Oh, yeah, I brought them along just so that uh, from a story's perspective and a history's perspective, I figured between the three of us, we'd, we'd get it right. Because a lot of the things we'd like to do, obviously, the number one question is going to be, who's that? A life-size photo of you, right. fatigues, it says, here's who it is, here's why it's named after him. But when, when we're pointing up to those um, holes up on the wall, it says, um, you know, movie gallery right. here. Just as you walk through the building, it tells a story on its own. <laughs> sure. But then next to it is a picture of a person that can relate to it. Right. Um, and and you know, what, the, what went on on the stage, what went on in the different events that happened here. Sure. Um, the grunt stories. My dad was in the guard here, so he comes by. Right. We were here, and we were in that big barn behind here. Yeah, right, the riding hall. Just so that we could tell those stories. Sure. Um, the stuff that people want to hear. The, yeah, the, absolutely. The great stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of history here. Remain. So this is half court right there. So these walls will be about nine foot tall. So everything will be exposed from up above. You look here, that's what it will look like. Oh, yeah. As you're looking from this window, looking down, you're going to see a sea of workers out here. There'll be over, probably, we, we figure, 85 to 100 workers in this building every day. Right. And then right here is uh, Teresa's office um, with the United Way that you just mm -hmm. talked to. And then there's another office here, uh, which is Michigan United Way. And we're going to keep the kitchen area for a caterer that's coming in. And they want to run a catering business out of it and make lunch for everybody sure. in the building. <coughs> so this big area here will be a copy room and... Um, collation room for the, everybody in the building uh -huh. and then the whole lower level uh, actually I don't want to skip over the stage the stage is going to stay um, we're going to glass it in and there'll be three offices <coughs> in the stage area uh, that blend in um, we have to keep the uh, black metal poles that come down we have to keep the wood floor we have to keep the markings on the wood floor so that when everybody comes in they, they can tell a story and they know it was a gymnasium and they know right. what it was used for. So basically, it tells a story without saying any words. I, I think that's great that you're preserving the history of the uh, of the facility. That's uh, that's awesome. And then the lower level is going to be pretty much <coughs> the same thing. Uh, three other occupants there. That's the upper level. Oops. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's going to look much different. Uh, those. I don't know if you remember that. This is the back side of the building. Right. Those big red barn doors. Yep. Are here. Okay. Um, they're going to remain. At least one of them is, and we're going to move one of them probably into this office. But this here is a, about a 6,000 square foot office. And what we're really excited about is there is a training center here that's going to house about 68 people. So it'll be a big conference room that can be used by the Cap actually the Capital Region Community Foundation is going to sponsor it, and the community will be able to use it. Um, these organizations will be able to use it. And then this front area that was the um, NCO Club. NCO Club is going to be a 25-person conference room. Oh, okay. Both served by a common type of kitchen. Excellent. So it's going to have a lot of people from the community. Uh, we're going to move our corporate headquarters here in this corner. Um, there's still a corner of this that's blocked off. We've never been in. There's, we just figured really? out there's, there's no access to it. So <laughs> maybe you left some stuff behind. We'll, we'll learn some more. So we're, we're excited. There'll be a big common kitchen for the entire building to come down here and, and have lunch and, and socialize. How so, long, Pat, you said? Uh, we hope to start in about three weeks, and we hope to be done. Um, right now we're playing around September, uh, oh. October, so it won't be long. You okay. Because the weather shouldn't play a role because it's all indoors all for the indoors. most part. We have to, we're going to do all the windows. They're going to be all historic windows. They're gonna, all these are going to come out, put new windows in that looks like it looked in 1927. That's great. So when you look at the outside of the building, it's going to look very close to the early 1900s. We have to get you the old German 88 and the 155 howitzer that used to be out there. Well, we wanted to put those right on Marshall Street so that when people drove by, it could, it could flank the entry. Do you still have those guns? We don't have them. Um, I wonder to, what happened. To away. They're in Charlotte, I believe, is where they're at. It takes someone high up in the state of Michigan to get those guns to get back. Those back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know that if guy. You know somebody with <laughs> I know that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Do you know the story behind those? 
I, I don't. Uh, I know as a as a young boy they were there. I remember playing on them, hanging off them when I was a kid. We were told. I don't know about if it was by. I won't quote you. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, that they actually we actually captured them during World War II from the German soldiers and brought them back. Well, the 88 we would have. The 155 was that. That was a U.S. gun or was I that German? I think it was U.S. or British. Maybe it was a British gun, but the, the, the 88 was clearly a German field piece. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Those would be cool. Yeah. Plaques to put up yeah. there. And well, the neat thing about this whole thing is that because of who's going to be here, the whole community is going to have access to this. Right. Program. It's going to be utilized by a, as a community asset, not just for private office space. What have they done with it? Are they just sitting in a yard or are they in place? I don't think they're in place. Okay. Yeah, we were actually going to build pedestals and put them up around a big sign that is going to be like yep, up lighting on them so it drove by at night. We used to have complaints from the neighbors. One day, pointed down the street. <laughs> Seriously, there was some guy that can remember that he, once a year he'd call up and complain he didn't like the gun pointing at his house. <laughs> Couldn't sleep at night knowing there was a gun pointing at his house. Yeah, my alumni. Now, Pat, you're still planning on calling the facility the Armory. Right? We're going to brand it as the Armory. So it will forever be known as the Armory. In fact, we have large signage out on Marshall that will, uh, you'll have to drive underneath a big metal bracket that says the armory. So you'll know when you've arrived and you'll know uh, from probably, I don't know, uh, four or five blocks away because the signage on the building will be, will be large and it won't be the Capital Region Community Foundation or United Way's building, it'll be the armory and they're in it. So it'll be nice. Everyone knows it as the armory, they always have, whether you've been right. to a St. Patrick's correct. Day party, or a Vandervoort sale, a wedding. Absolutely. Um, the armory. Yep. You're, you're absolutely right. Is there anything in here that says the 119th on anything? There's a lot of things that have your coat of arms. Right. There is there is a marking down in one of the basement offices, I would call it, or the lower level offices. Because it was a 1st Battalion, 119th, has occupied this since it was constructed. And I, to the extent that that uh, gets woven in there makes sense with how you're going to portray it, that really what it, what it was. To, remember the big, there used to be a coat of arms up there on the wall. Somebody nicked that. Yeah, somebody, somebody swiped it. Well, we have a graphic artist that's going to work with your uh, your logo, and maybe we'll add the 119th <coughs> underneath it and try to utilize it throughout the building. Yeah, as part of the, a sign out on the building that had the 119th, and then they took that one. Right? Yeah, it would have been. Well, what we've got is a, there's a crest like, well, have I got it there, Jack? Yep. Yes. Oh. Did I get my the old battalion crest? Here? Yeah, that's it. That's our old. That's the battalion crest. Don't anybody take pictures. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> those are all the units I commanded. That's that's right over there. Oh really? Yeah. So this one's the 119th crest. This is the 182nd. She was also commander. 182. Could you help us get a shot of that? Um, do you have that crest? The crest? Yeah. Oh, we could get that to you. Yeah, we can Absolutely. get that to you. Because that'd be nice to use that throughout the building. Absolutely, we can get that. To you. Okay. Yeah, that, that that would be really meaningful to every, everyone, and it was okay. the Army, you're right, it was referred to the Army, but it was really 1st uh, Battalion, 119th. Major General, when you command, how long did you command here? Um, I commanded here, well, I was in the unit from 1973 to 1994. I commanded the battalion from 1989, or 1990 to 1994. Is that right? Cool. Now, is it true we've heard this 119 served in every foreign war we were involved in with the exception of the Korean War? I, thought. I think that's probably true. Including the Civil War, actually. The lineage yeah. and honors go back to the Civil War. Do they really? really? We'll yeah. query our um, Mopor's writing a section for the lineage and honors of 119th. Mr. Bellet suggested that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's actually, uh, the 119th Field Artillery Regiment, it goes back so far, it was called a regiment before it was a battalion. Would you mind if we used a, we would, we would have a life-size photo of you in fatigues? That'd be fine. Yeah, in ACUs, absolutely. I mean, maybe yep. even from 20 years ago. I got those, too. <laughs> that would be, it would be unique to have. I actually got the picture of the, by the, uh, by the howitzer, the one that's in my office. We'd like to say, because when they go, who is this guy? We go, right to your left. Yeah. And it tells the story. That would be, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we also like some uh, photos. Uh, we've got a lot of photos, but we'd love some, like a group of guys that are serving our country overseas, like in a 
in a combat zone or not in a, but where they've they're, all got their arms together and yeah, they're, they're that, deployed right now. That would be neat to see. You know, if we could get one with the uh, with the pennant, with the guide on, with the 119th field artillery, so you can see it, uh, get a picture with the HHC or. I think I know somebody that could do that. I think you can get that done. My, my that son's done. over there right okay. now. Oh, really? With the 119. Yeah. We have a great picture too from back in the old days when there was men all lined up here with their horses. Yeah. It shows the whole building. You can see the riding. Oh, that's great. Too. Yeah. I mean, they're just a lot of a lot of history here. Well, we would love your guys' input. I hope we don't bother you too much. But No, not at all. We appreciate the uh, interest. Jack, do you know what happened to the uh, lettering of the door of the writing hall? Remember, they were brass? Yeah. I know they they were preserved by someone. I just don't I, know who I'd has got them. I'd <laughs> ask Chief Hall first. To... What did it say? Writing hall. It said writing hall. It said writing hall. hall. But they they, it was brass. Big, it was heavy brass. Big, heavy Beautiful. brass letters. Really? Yep. Let, let's ask him if he's got those. I mean, what's he going to do with them? And uh, you know, if it's something that you would want to incorporate into the building, that'd be great. If not, that's fine yeah. too. Well, we would look for a spot if we saw the size and yeah, they're, they're a good size letter. I mean, they were. And if you, if you look at pictures and you find pictures of the writing hall in back here, which I'm sure you have, some, they're gorgeous. Yeah. It was right over the front door, okay. and they were big we brass. Have a picture in front of that door. Yeah, they had the big brass letters that said uh, riding home. <laughs> you didn't hear it there, but Jack built a bar. Really? Oh, you did? Oh. That cooler is a piece of art in there. That, uh, that baby's still in there? Yeah, so it is. It, it's no one's there. strong enough to move it. <laughs> you know, we got to go in there one more time. <laughs> I feel like we ought to have a beer in there. Well, again, thanks, uh, thanks for the interest. I mean, it means a lot to us. A lot of people have served here, given a big piece of their life spent in this this facility so um, you know rather than just knocking it down or gutting it and, and uh, changing it completely I mean the preservation of the history is is very meaningful to a lot of people above and beyond us you know uh, I think a lot of the the former members and those serving that this will mean a lot to them. so we appreciate that well, maybe when we open we can do a flag raising ceremony or of some type that Love to kicks it off the right way. We could, you know, we could do that, and you know, we could even bring uh, some. I mean, I gotta watch how we do this, but we could get some soldiers involved in that too, and maybe really do something uh, nice.